Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to reverse the given number. Let's say the user has inputted this number 1, 2, 3, 4. The Java program will read this number and has to reverse this number like this 4, 3, 2, 1, and thereafter it has to print this reversed number in the output. How to write a Java code? which will read this kind of number from the user and thereafter reverse the number and print in the output. Let me explain. So first of all, we have to receive the input given by the user. This number should be received as the input from the user. How to do that? For that, we need to create an object for the scanner class. Scanner scanner is equal to new scanner. Using scanner class, we can receive the inputs from the user over the mouse on scanner and import this from java.util package. This constructor cannot be empty. We can simply provide system.in to resolve this error. As part of input, we have to provide system.in. Now we need to ask the user to enter any number. Enter any number. After looking at this particular text in the output, user will start typing the number. Let's say the number is one, two, three, four. This number inputted by the user, we have to receive into our program. How to do that? Using the scanner object, we have to call this next int command. Since this particular number is an integer, we can receive this kind of input from the user, integer kind of input from the user by using this next int command of scanner class. The next int command of scanner class will receive this or in, intake this input from the user. Whatever the input that is intaken by this next int command, we would like to save in a variable. Let me give the variable name as num create local variable. Now we have successfully intaken the integer number from the user and stored into this number variable. What we have to do next is we need to write the logic for reversing the number. So what we have to do now? For that, first I will create the variable reversed number is equal to, okay, zero I will say. Reversed number is equal to zero. So after this, I'll write a while loop while this number is greater than zero, while this number is greater than zero, we'll iterate this while loop until this number is greater than zero. So inside this while loop, we'll write int reminder is equal to, int reminder is equal to this number, the original number divided by sorry, percentile 10. This will give the reminder. Number percentile 10 will give the reminder. So here the number is, the given number is one, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four is the given number, inputted number. So one, two, three, four percentile 10 will take out the reminder. That reminder is in this one, two, three, four, if you percentile 10, you'll get the reminder as four guys, the last digit. So last digit four will be assigned to reminder here. This reminder, we have to do something with this reminder. That is, we have to copy this reversal number. We have to write the logic like this. Reversal number is equal to reversal number into 10. You can put that in a circular bracket if you want. This is the logic, guys. We have to implement for reversing the number. Reversal number is equal to reversal number into 10 plus this reminder. You have to write like this. After this, we have to divide this number by 10. Number is equal to number by 10. Let me explain this logic. How does this logic work? Let me explain now. First of all, the user will be asked with this particular text, enter any number in the output. After looking at this particular text in the output, user will enter this number, say 1234. 1234 will be stored into this number. Now, while number, number is 1234. 1234 is greater than zero. Yes, it is correct. We'll go inside the while loop. Again, int reminder is equal to number percentile 10. That is one, two, three, four percentile 10. When you divide this number by 10, you will get the reminder as four guys. The last digit will be the reminder. That is four, four will be stored into this reminder. Now reverse number is equal to reverse number into 10. What is the original reverse number? Zero, initially reverse number is set to zero. So zero into 10 is zero. Zero plus, what is the reminder? Reminder is this four, zero plus four is Simply, it is four guys. Now, number is equal to number divided by 10. 
this number is equal to number divided by 10 what's the number 1 2 3 4 is the number 1 2 3 4 divided by 10 is 1 2 3 okay last digit will be gone when you divide a particular number by 10 the last digit will be removed so only the three remaining numbers will be available in, in this 1 2 3 4 only 1 2 3 will be left 4 will be gone after dividing by 10 now the number current number is 1 2 3 so number is greater than 0 1 2 3 is greater than 0 true again again we will go inside the while loop number percentile 10 when you 1 2 3 percentile 10 the last digit will be the reminder that is 3 will be the reminder here 3 will be stored into the reminder now this thing should be operated for that the earlier reversed number is 4 okay earlier reversed number is 4 you can see here reversed number into 10 4 into 10 is 40 40 plus what is the reminder 3 so it will become 43 this one is 4 into 3 uh, 4 into 10 40 reminder is 3 43 then again number is equal to number divided by 10 here 1 to 3 divided by 10 it will become one more number will be gone okay one more number will be gone out of 1 to 3 only 12 will be left so 12 is the current number 12 is greater than 0 or not yes it is greater than 0 so we'll go inside the while loop here number percentile 10 that is 12 percentile 10 the last digit will be the reminder in this 12 last digit that is 2 is a reminder 2 will be stored into the reminder now we need to operate this one okay uh, that is the reversal number into 10 earlier reversal number is 43 43 into 10 is 430 43 into 10 is 430 plus 2 is 432 then again this step will be executed where number is equal to number divided by 10 in this when you divide this number by 10 the last digit will be gone so only one will be left the complete number only one is left now this current number is one one is greater than zero yes correct so you'll go inside the while loop here one percentile 10 what is the reminder guys 10 zero the zero only one will be the reminder one will be stored into the reminder now again if you operate this one reverse the number into 10 432 into 10 that is 4320 it will become 4320 reminder is one that is 4320 plus one is 4321 so finally the reverse number is 4321 then the next step number is equal to number divided by 10 1 divided by 10 it will become 0 guys so again this condition will be verified where number is greater than 0 0 is greater than 0 false will come out of the while loop so by the time we come out of the while loop what is the reverse number reverse number is 4321 is this reverse number really the reverse number of the given number yes here it is 1 2 3 4 here it is 4321 we were able to write the logic for reversing the number. Now the time has come for us to print this reversal number. If you provide the program with the number 1234, this program will reverse it like this 4321 and we can print it here. The reversal number is plus this number. Okay, we are done with writing the logic for reversing the given number. Before proceeding forward, what we have to do is there is one warning coming here guys as part of the best practice we need to resolve this warning it is saying that resource leak scanner is never closed this scanner is never closed we have to close it once we have intaken the required number we can simply close the scanner object so this will resolve the warning message and also we will be following the best practices this is not mandatory guys but if you follow it will be according to the best practices so save this now run this program this program will now ask for the number. Let me give the number as 1234. When I press enter, this program should reverse this number and print as 4321. Let's see whether we are getting the output or not. The reverse number is 4321. Let's give other, another number. Let's say let's give the number as uh, 3142. Okay, 3142 and press enter. What should be the output? 2413. You see, 2413 is the output. This proves that. This program is working perfectly fine. So hope guys, you understood how to write a Java program to reverse the given number. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.